In this session, we'll look at some ways to automate the attachment or removal of property set data. On my screen, I've got some Civil 3D content. I'm going to zoom in on the sanitary network, and let's talk about the structures. Each of the structures in the sanitary network has property set data attached to it. Just to prove that, I will select one of the structures. We'll come over to the Properties palette, and then I'll choose the Extended Data tab, and you can see that attribution right here. The property set definition is called Exist Structure Table, and beneath that you can see the attributes. Let me press Escape. So that property set definition is attached to all of these structures. Let's zoom out, and I'll pan the drawing over. In addition to my sanitary network, I also have a storm sewer network. These structures do not have property set data on them. Let me select a storm structure. I'll come over to the Properties palette, and you can see there's no data here. Let me press Escape. We'll zoom out, and we'll come back over here to the beginning. Let's say that I'd like to take that same property set definition that's being used for the structures, and I'd like to attach it to these pipes as well. If I come up to the Manage tab, and then come down and choose Define Property Sets, I could select that property set definition right here, and it would be real nice on the Applies To tab if I could just come over and choose Pipe, and then click OK, and have it automatically attach that property set data to those pipes. Well, we can do that. We just have to turn on a feature first. Let me hit Cancel. At the command line, I'm going to type AEC PSD Auto Attach. It stands for Property Set Data Auto Attach. I'll press Enter, and you can see by default this feature is turned off. I'm going to turn that on, and I'll press Enter. By turning this feature on, any changes I make to a property set definition will be automatically applied to all existing objects and any new objects that I create. Let's test that. I'm going to go back to Define Property Sets. I'll choose Edit Structure Table, and then on the Applies To tab, I'm going to drag this down, and I will change this property set definition such that it applies to pipes as well. I will then click OK. And now, if I select one of these pipes, come over to the Properties palette, we can see that it has the property set data on it. Let me press Escape. We'll pan the drawing down a little bit. And then let's test new objects. So I'm going to select the Sanitary Network. I'll choose Edit Pipe Network. And then I'm just going to create a quick structure and a pipe here. We'll just draw these quickly on screen. Let me press Escape, and I'll select a structure. We'll come over, you can see it has the data on it as well. That Auto Attach feature is automatically taking these objects noticing that they are associated with a property set definition, and it's applying it automatically. Let me press Escape. I will then select these objects because we don't need them, and I'll press Delete. And I can close this tool palette. Now, one thing to consider. If I pan the drawing over, remember that I only wanted that property set data associated with the sanitary sewer. Well, the storm sewer objects are also considered structures and pipes, so when I changed that definition, it updated these existing objects too. If I come to the Properties palette, you can see that this structure has data on it, as does this pipe. Not a problem. This gives us a chance to talk about how we can remove property set definitions from objects. One way we can do it is by selecting the objects first. I'm going to choose one storm structure and one pipe. I'll right-click and choose Select Similar. This selects all of the storm sewer. I'll then come over to the Properties palette, and then I'll click this button, Remove Property Sets. I will then ensure my property set definition is selected, and I'll come down and click OK. I'll press Escape when finished, and if I select a structure now and come over to the Properties palette, you can see it no longer has that definition. Likewise, the storm sewer pipes, it has been removed as well. Let's press Escape. I'm going to zoom out, and we'll pan back over here to the beginning. Let's look at another way that we can globally remove property set data from objects. We'll assume that I'd like to put things back the way they were. I'd like to remove the property set definitions that were attached to these sanitary pipes. Well, since the Auto Attach tool is turned on, if I come over to Define Property Sets and I choose Exist Structure Table, if I was to slide this down to Pipe and remove this check and click OK, that would remove it from the pipes because updating this definition would update it on the objects, but it would also add the data to those storm structures again. And I don't want to do that, so let me hit Cancel. Let's look at another way. First, I'm going to turn that Auto Attach feature off. I'll type AEC PSD Auto Attach, and I'll type Off, and I'll press Enter. Now that that's turned off, let me go back to Define Property Sets. I'll go to the Existing Structure table, and on the Applies To tab, I'm going to come down and remove the pipe designation. It's no longer necessary. I will then come up to the General tab, and I am going to copy the name of this property set to my clipboard. I'll just right-click and choose Copy. Let me come down and click OK. So the data is still on these pipes, 
to remove it, I'm going to use the command property set clean, and I'll press enter. Property set clean will remove property set data from any object for which it no longer applies. All I have to do is enter the property set definition name. That's why I copied it to my clipboard. Let me right click and I'll paste this here at the command line and then I'll press enter. You can see 18 property sets were removed. If I select the sanitary pipe and come over to the properties palette, you can see that that data has been removed. It has also been removed from all of the other sanitary network pipes. So if the time comes that you'd like to manage your property set data using a more global approach, Civil 3D provides some powerful features to automate the attachment or removal of property set data. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.